Friday, February 3rd, 2023. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In history, on February 3rd, the Fifth Amendment to the Constitution of the United States was drafted. Menu for a ticket of five is teriyaki beef dippers with vegetable fried rice and extreme bean and cheese burrito. Lunch menu is spicy chicken burger, extreme bean and cheese burrito, chef's choice, and California cup salad. Valentine grams will be on sale on February 1st to February 10th. During these dates, you can buy a Valentine gram mm -hmm. from any music student before school, during nutrition, during lunch, or after school. For one dollar, you can write a message to a special someone and it will be delivered with a jolly rancher and a hot lollipop on a favorite Valentine's Day. Support the music program at Sycamore and treat that special someone with a Valentine gram. Happy Friday! Who's not excited that it's Friday? After a long week of hard work and putting in effort, everyone deserves to be excited that it is Friday. So just remember, I hope all of you are not just growing older because all of us do that. I hope you're also getting smarter. Just a little reminder, as we enter our last of 78 days of school for our sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. Next week, we'll be starting our week of, or our first state assessment, the LPAC. What is the LPAC? Well, way back when, when you were a TK or kinder student, your parent had to enroll you so you can start your education career. And here we ask four questions. Here, I mean in the United States, not SMA. We ask, what was your first language? What language do your parents uh, mostly speak? What language do you hear at home? And what language uh, was your first language that you spoke? I don't know if I already said that. There are four questions that we ask you. If any one of those four questions is any other language besides English, we have to give you what was then called the CELT and now the LPAC. You take that test and it either says, nope, his English skills or her English skills are up to par, just the same as anyone else if English was their first language. Or this person needs some support in developing the English language because his language from home is much stronger than the language that they're learning in here, which is English then you become what's known an English language learner student. The advantages are that we get money to help support you in your English language development. How do we know that you are developing or improving? We give you a yearly test called the LPAC. The LPAC measures your English in four domains. How well you listen, like do you understand what I'm saying right now in English or are you struggling? How well you write in English, how well you speak, and how well you read. And once you are able to get a score of four, which is fluent, you are exited out or reclassified out of English. So what, Dr. Salas? What's the big deal? Why do you keep talking about this? Let me tell you why. If you have a ninth period, or if you have an ELD class in place of your elective, you need to take that until you are reclassified. What if you don't pass this year and you're on to high school? Unfortunately, you don't get an elective. You have to continue in your English language development. Now, I said unfortunately. If you are new to this country, you just came from Guatemala, Colombia, uh, India, Japan, and you've been here for less than four years, it's not unfortunate, it's a good thing. But if you've been here since you were really little or maybe you were even born here and you still haven't passed the ELD test, that's a problem because you really should be on to your electives and to other classes, not English. So does the test matter? Absolutely, it matters. It matters if you need the course, hey, it's here for you. But if you don't and you're just not caring about the test, you are really stuck and you are actually stuck 
and sticking yourself in that class. All you have to do is show what you know. So the LPAC test starts this Monday. If you are called to take the test, I will remind you again of these high stakes so that you know, let me just show them what I know. I think with a little bit more effort and focus, most of you should be able to graduate out of ELD so that next year you do not have an ELD course. One more thing you need to know. Next year, we are not offering a ninth period ELD class. So, well, that means if you're an ELD student and you don't pass this LPAC, you will not have a chance to have an elective. Leadership, art, band, robotics, all those electives, you don't get to participate because you have to take your ELD course within the school day. So let's get to it. Just don't sit there and guess and make a pattern. Really try and show us what you know. LPAC starts next week. We are doing a walk in your shoes. So hopefully those students that I mentioned yesterday, we, um, we have already visited. If not, we'll get to you next week. Jogathon is in full effect. Raise that money, $30 for every um, entry. And if you raise more than 30, for every 30, you can invite a friend to the color run. Wear white so you can really enjoy all of the colors, but don't wear a white shirt that you want to be white at the end of the race. It won't be. The other last thing I wanted to mention is our safety and our dress code. Make sure that you are following all of our rules so that we can keep this a safe and joyous place for you. Keep the drama outside of school. This is a space to learn, a space to hang out with your friends, a space to create some positive memories. All right, that's it. I've talked so much today. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Be safe. Remember that we care and we love you, and we'll see you here on Monday. Happy Friday, everybody. Thanks.